Hi, in this project I'll show how we can make a traffic lights of Lego with uh, some LEDs and uh, the, uh, the goal is to control the traffic light with the micro bit. So I've programmed the micro bit to, to uh, put a, a cur current to uh, the pin zero when you press button A and a current to uh, button or pin one when you press button B and uh, current to uh, pin two when you press uh, both uh, pins or both uh, buttons. So, so the goal is to control the light here from green, yellow, red with a micro bit. So uh, let's get started. I have built uh, the traffic light here in uh, some Lego. Um, Lego bricks and um, then I have a green LED that I'll uh, place in the bottom here. So uh, you can glue it if you like. I I think I'll try and just bend the legs on the on the back here. So I take the the long leg to the left and the short leg to the right. So that's uh, the the positive to the left and the negative to the right. And I'll do that with uh, all three of these uh, LEDs. like that and then uh, I just want to put the maybe I should put a little tape on here So now we are ready to put on the alligator clips. So I take the negative one here. And uh, I put on a little uh, resistor of 100 ohm uh, to this one. And then I plug it to to the ground on the um, on the micro bit and uh, I have to do that with uh, all three of the the lights uh, So I just have to uh, put this on top of the other. And the last one. I also put a resistor on this one. So, and then uh, I'll take the the first one, the, the green, and I put that on zero on the micro bit. Uh, 
and then I put the, the yellow one to pin two on the micro bit. No, pin one. And the last one, I don't have a red, a red uh, gazer clip, so just use the yellow for the red one here, and that goes to to number two here. Pin number two. If I can have my fingers in here. So like this. And hopefully we have a light in our traffic light now. So let's see. Turn it around. There's no light. So now I have a light. I was just had to uh, to readjust some of the wires here. It's a bit um, crowded here. So now when I press uh, button B, I get the yellow light to to light up, and I press uh, both A and B. I get the red light and uh, B again, yellow, and then A, I, I get the green light. So now uh, Batman, he's, uh, oh, yeah, it's, uh, the wires are, has to be exactly on the position. So now Batman, he can uh, pass uh, if that's the uh, red light, uh, green light for him. Uh, and uh, that's how you make uh, your own traffic light. So. Uh, next section I'll show how to code uh, the micro bit for this uh, action. So yellow on the on the button B and red on both yellow on B and green on on A. Go Batman! Yeah. Oh damn it! My Batmobile is out of. Okay, here we are in uh, makecode.microbit.org and we have our microbit here in our block uh, editor here. So I want to press the button A and uh, light up uh, the green lights on, on pin 1, pin 0. And I want to press button B and uh, light up uh, the yellow lights on the traffic light on pin 1. And then I press both uh, buttons and I light up the red lights and uh, and uh, on on uh, pin two here. So that's uh, what I want to do. And then I'll make uh, this, uh, this light up on uh, button A and this light up uh, on button B and this light up on both buttons uh, pressed. So we have an uh, so we can show the action on our little display as well. So I need an input on button A. And when button A pressed, I want to set, uh, set this uh, pin to high value, meaning there's going to be power on it and the LED will light up. So I'll uh, digital right to pin P0 and the value I'll right is one so you can see now it's a uh, full power so when i press button a uh, there's power on uh, pin zero yes and uh, i'll do the same with uh, the two other uh, events so control c control v and that's button b and it's on uh, pin p1 so it's this one. So now I press A, uh, pin zero uh, lights up, and B, pin uh, one lights up. But uh, the problem is they're both uh, um, on now. So we will fix that in a while. But I'll just uh, duplicate this one once more, and I'll uh, make the event on button A plus B pressed and I make P2 go to <coughs> high uh, value. So now I press A 
B and A plus B, and I have light in all three lights. But I want to uh, to reset button uh, or uh, pin zero when I press button B and light up uh, pin one. So I make a reset function. I, I press functions and then I press make a function and I call this reset. And what I'll do is I'll uh, set all the pins to zero. So uh, when I call it, they all go to zero here. Yeah. So I duplicate the first one three, two times, and then I change this one to P1 and this one to P2. And then I call, uh, when I press each button, I'll first uh, assure that no lights is on. So Control c Control v and I call this uh, every time. So now when I press button A, the two others is set to zero and uh, the one, the, the pin zero is set to one. And when I press uh, button B, A plus, uh, or zero plus two is set to zero, and uh, the one is set to one. And A plus B, uh, those will be off, and this one will be on. So to, to make the same display on our display here, I'll uh, use uh, digital uh, right, no plot the plot um, command. So I have it here on the LED. So I plot uh, to uh, zero point zero. It's this one. And control C, control V, and this one I'll plot uh, to uh, zero one two on the x-axis. And the last one is uh, one of zero, one, two, three, four. So like this. And then I have to reset them, but I'll do that when I have demonstrated how it works. So now this one lights up here. And this one lights up here. And this third one lights up here like our traffic light would do. So when I call the reset, I want to set uh, unplot my uh, three uh, LEDs here. So unplot this one and unplot uh, the two others as well. So this was 2.0 and this one is 4.0. So now when I call the reset, um, the, the this one should uh, unplot, and they sure do. So now you're ready to download and and uh, upload to your micro bit, and you have your own traffic light. Thanks.